YouTube. Um, welcome back to my channel, Authentically Now. Welcome to my uh, birthday vlog slash trip to Colombia. Um, as you can see by the title, I am so excited to be here. Um, I haven't been here in several years now, so super super excited. Okay, so let me catch you guys up to what I've been up to because I honestly haven't been able to vlog that much. Like I haven't been able to talk to the camera, but I have been able to vlog um some stuff so let me catch y'all up real quick so basically we landed two days ago our flight was okay um it was delayed like two and a half hours we didn't get any snacks on the plane we had to buy everything it was okay anyways i'm just glad we made it like here safely and we're all good and everything so basically we got in pretty late at night so we were tired we just went straight to sleep we're visiting here family and stuff um and the next day we went on like a little beauty excursion so i went with my sister to go get her eyelashes done i'm here with my sister um because it's our little birthday trip since we're 20s um and she got her eyelashes done then she got her nails done and i got my nails done for the first time in like i don't know like i want to say years like i haven't gotten my nails done at a salon in years so yeah this is what they look like these are my natural nails um i didn't want to go acrylic because like this is the longest my nails have been my natural nails have been in a long time so um i didn't want the acrylics to like break them or gel to break them or whatever so yeah so that's what we did and then we went to go eat with our family members on some delicious uh like we went to a little cafe we went afterwards to like a like dinner type thing um and just been eating really good like traditional food um and it has been so amazing some one of the my favorite parts about colombia is the fact that the food just tastes so much fresh and so much like there's just so much more flavor it's just absolutely amazing amazing um so yeah so then we went on a little road trip to like a little city here we're at a little resort um and there's like pools and stuff and like uh like a gym me and my sister are about to go to the gym we just had breakfast my uh uncles were nice enough to make us breakfast they're so 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 sweet uh we love them so much um and yeah so i will show you around um it's just kind of like a little like resort area thing i'm in a little city called ricardo i don't know i'm gonna have to look that up but yeah so i will update you guys later bye Just got back from our workout. Kat, how was it? Good. Brutal. Brutal. It was a sissy workout, right? Sissy? A sister. That means like eight, eight. No, a sister workout. Yeah. No, say what you said at the gym. What did I say? She said I only did sprints with her. So and I she said, go ahead. I said I didn't feel like a sisterhood because she didn't want to do quads or back with me. She just or core or core because I was doing my own thing, and she was like, "Nelly, we need to do a sister workout." It was cute. She loves me. She's a she looks like a kill you, but is a cinnamon bun on the inside. <laughs> Bye everyone. We're, no. no, we're gonna we're gonna go take a shower, eat, and then we're gonna go get super cute and go to the pool, take some cute pics. Show them your nails. I did, I already did. I did full body today. That they did uh, legs, lower body, sprints, and a set of lat pull downs at the end. So a little bit of mix. Bye. Y'all saw that face of fear? I didn't see my little black backpack a quick second. I was like, oh my gosh, I lost my freaking backpack in a different country because that shit would happen to me. But no, it's here. 
Um, so anyways, my sister is doing a whole little photo shoot for me here. She, guys, let me tell y'all, she has amazing photography skills. Like when she was in high school, she took a photography class for like four years and her pictures were put into competitions and like they were given awards, like second place, first place type shit. Like, and she's just so kind enough to like, cause every time I ask her for a picture, I'm like, Tat, like I really wanna take a picture she here. She's like, yeah, yeah, sure. Like she's always like that. Um, and it's so nice of her. Um, and we try to be like that for each other. Uh, she went back to the room because there are mosquitoes out here, y'all. Mm-mm. Don't play with mosquitoes, no ma'am, because um, they will really come out here and swarm you. So she went to go put some bug spray on. Um, and yeah, I'm just chilling here. We got some really good pictures. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see if you know, you know. Follow me at authentically not. Um, but yeah, it's just been a super chill day. We ate lunch. We got ready for the pool. We're out here taking pictures and we're gonna sit poolside. And then we're gonna go um, back to a family's house, like in, in the city. Um, so yeah. Guys, I haven't had a vacation in three years. Like, I haven't had a vacation since I, the, during the time where I was applying to law school, when I was sending in all my applications, that's when I had my very, very last vacation. And it's just full circle, because now I'm about to enter to my first, to my last semester of law school. God is so good, y'all. He just, God really got me. And I'm out here just having a wonderful, peaceful, relaxing time with genuine people that I love and love me. And it's just, it's just such a beautiful feeling to like be surrounded by authentic people that truly care about you and that like show that through their actions and it's just like you just feel so loved and it doesn't always have to be romantic it can be platonic love and you just feel so fulfilled and it's like uh so all this to say if there are people in your life that are mistreating you and just don't make you feel good, make you feel really shitty about yourself, and just people that mistreat you. There are so many different forms of mistreatment. You know, I, I don't wanna say like, you know, blocked, cut off, F them, no. I think you should have a conversation with those people and be like, this is how you're making me feel. And I don't like it, please stop it. Like create boundaries and be like, I wanna keep you in my life because I love you, but you're hurting me. So you need to stop doing this or else I will take my own actions accordingly. If they don't stop after you've communicated to them how you feel or change their course of action through behavior, then, you know, like, it's better to remove yourself from that situation so that you can truly find peace of heart. Because staying in that situation with, like, angst and this person keeps doing things that you ask them to not do and keeps, you know, just mistreating you. You don't feel good around this person anymore. You know, it's hard to let go. It's really effing hard to let go, let me tell you. But... Once you go through that pain, and, 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 and the pain is like, uh, it's, not, it's not, you know, a linear process. It comes and goes, but like through time, the level of pain goes a little bit down. And it's just like, you feel kind of like you can just enjoy life better because you allow more room for more things that are more true to you and uh, like a, a, a community of support filled with genuine authentic people things like that so that is my rant because when you do that and only allow people that love you into your life truly and genuinely and throw show that through actions you're showing yourself i deserve this level of respect i deserve this amount of love because i love myself and i'm worth it so yeah, my sister's back. 
and we're gonna take more videos i mean pictures peace out y'all this is for your vlog <laughs> Hey vlog. Looks like you were doggy paddling. Cheese <laughs> or something. What? Say hi. Hi everyone. I was doggy paddling because we're gonna come here so Ooh, I can get the picture because Thacky, my creative director slash PDF creative manager, told me to. She doesn't get paid though. With my love. One day. Okay, bye. what is up you guys i have not updated y'all since i was at the resort oh my god so much has happened um in the previous clips that you saw i went to a farm we went from the resort to a uh, farm and it was absolutely um just so beautiful and relaxing i love coming here because um the nature in Colombia is just otherworldly like it is so peaceful so relaxing there's so much like greenery mountains animals like just beauty beautiful like mother nature everywhere and it's just like honestly reminds you of like God's green earth you know and like how just like divine it is and like just you know I I uh, believe in God and um, I just you know every time I come here I'm just astonished at like you know the world he created and everything so just so overwhelmed with happiness and just peace of mind um, we went farm like i said and um we ate some delicious food um that is cooked over something called like la leña i don't know what that means if i find out what that means i'll insert it here in english um but yeah and so we had like fried pork and plantains and um, like little baby uh, salted potatoes, just so good. And then um, we went to the little farm. We went the, with uh, several family members' dogs. They're so freaking cute. I just want to squish them. They're so adorable. Um, and they just play together like little babies. And it just makes me want to like live near my siblings and us all have dogs that we can just have little play dates with. So, um, so yeah, um, and what else did we do? Now I'm blanking. 
oh yeah then we went to go visit other family members but i didn't vlog that because like there's just some parts that i don't want to vlog because i just want to be very present since this is a very family-centered trip and everyone is just so welcoming kind and nice um so yeah that's what we did back from the farm at home tomorrow we are gonna maybe go to a dinner at like a fancy restaurant the next day is our birthday <clears throat> excuse me and yeah so i'll keep you all updated thank y'all for hanging in there with me like i know i haven't been able to talk much but i have honestly just been living in the moment and yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this video and seeing the beauty of colombia it is absolutely stunning um so blessed to be here but yeah i am gonna go to sleep because i am so tired um so yeah bye <laughs> still sleeping and I don't want to be loud um it is the next day um so as you guys saw we went to um well yesterday was kind of like a pre-birthday thing we went to my aunt's house in like the morning-ish, mid-afternoon-ish, um, and she made us a really typical lunch, uh, called ajiaco, it's like, um, soup, and, um, with, like, chicken in it, corn, um, rice, um, potatoes, like a little cream, like milkish cream, capers, avocado it's really good it's definitely a meal people who say like soups are not meals you've never had like a soup a soup soup like a colombian soup so anyways um then we went to actually my sister had the idea of getting our hair blown now my hair it was raining last night so my hair a little wavy but i'm gonna straighten it again today and show y'all it's still pretty straight um and i'll insert pictures of what it kind of looked like when it was first blown out it was really cute and then we went to a really pretty restaurant called mala flor in translation it literally means bad flower it was such a good restaurant like as you guys saw in the clips so well decorated it was so beautiful it had these like very tropical vibes um it had two floors it had an upstairs and a downstairs and the upstairs was kind of a bar scene um i had my very first mocktail um it was so good um and the food was absolutely to die for. It was like a Asian fusion with like Peruvian and Mexican food. Y'all, like Asian flavors mixed with Latino flavors. It's so good. I absolutely love that combination. Um, every plate that we got was like a 10 out of 10 and we like kind of shared all of our plates so good i got like this really yummy steak with this really yummy sauce two sauces actually um 
It was so good. It's hard to describe what the food was. My aunt got like a salmon type of plate. My cousin got like a taco type of plate. My sister got um, and like another steak meat kind of plate. It was so, so good. Um, and then they sang happy birthday to us when the little cake came out. We took a bunch of pictures, which again, I'll insert here. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see them. At authentically Nat underscore. Um, so, yeah. Last night was so fun. Um, and after that, we went to go visit some other cousins. It's just been really fun family time. Um. Today is our actual birthday, and my family's been kind enough to like organize kind of like a barbecue thing. So we're gonna go to a family member's house and do like a barbecue there, and like a lot of hopefully a lot of family members that said they're coming are gonna come, and hopefully it's gonna be a really fun time. So I'll try to vlog more. Like I just haven't been able to vlog in the moment of like talking to y'all because I've had to do kind of these little recaps because it's been a little bit hard. Um, and I've also been trying to be in the moment. So yeah, but I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, it is the next day. Yesterday was our birthday. Um, birthday twins, literally, because we're twins, we're on the same day. Um, it was so fun. Uh, just the day filled with so much love, care, uh, kindness, celebration, uh, just an absolutely wonderful day. It was one of my absolute favorite birthdays, and I'm not just saying that, um, it was honestly filled with a lot of family and a lot of like just intentional kindness. Um, so let me give you guys a recap. Um, basically yesterday in the morning, my aunt came to uh, where we're staying and uh, she made us um, a really yummy breakfast. It was with arepas and um which is like a, a very colombian like breakfasty snack type of thing you drink with coffee or breakfast in the morning kind of like these doughy you just have to see it like it's hard to explain there are these little like savory pastry cake not cakes they're like little stuffed tortillas no that's not what they are okay you just have to see they're really yummy and like ready and like just can be moist or filled with cheese really good so she took the time out of her day to do that in the morning give us a nice birthday breakfast which was so kind of her shout out to her um and then we got ready to go to um so our family actually organized like a little birthday barbecue for us that's the part that um, i'm actually talking about that was so heartwarming and just an amazing time. Uh, our family took the time to uh, organize a barbecue for us. And there's a lot of us, like a lot of family members, a lot of uncles, aunts, cousins, and they all uh, came to our, basically our birthday barbecue. And um, it was so fun because it was just nice to spend quality time with everybody. And, uh, they were all so kind to us. They even, before we cut the cake, um, a lot of them spoke a few like kind words that they wanted to share with us. And it was just so heartwarming. Then we ate a uh, cake. We sang some karaoke songs, some like rancheros. Uh, some of them were like traditional Colombian rancheros or like these like romantic songs. Um, and yeah and we danced a little bit then we ended the night off with a little uh coffee which is like super colombian because it was like 12 a.m 
um my family was having tinto and i was having cafe con leche it was so fun just being surrounded by family that loves you and cares for you um truly a big blessing truly like this whole trip has really been about that of just like how much like when we come to Colombia, how much our family like takes the time to like spend quality time with us even if they're busy and like travel with us and like show us their favorite spots and things like that it honestly means the world to us today we're actually going to go to uh another uh like popular place here in bogota it's um called a centro which is uh like the center of the city and that's where some like uh government buildings are but there's also like a lot of nice restaurants um a lot of beautiful art architecture so we'll be showing you that in the next clip we're also going to get lunch um with one of my uncles because we want to spend some time with his family before we leave since we leave soon so i will be vlogging all of that uh so yeah stay tuned bye Hello everybody, um, wow, it has been a last couple of days, um, it just has been a whirlwind. So as y'all can see, I am back home, I am in my favorite warm jammies, um, I actually did get these from Columbia just took a shower and a body shower and i did all the things all the shower things the lotion the you know uh i finally was able to use my loofah again the scrubs everything just kind of giving myself the full treatment except my hair because i washed my hair like recently and as you guys know from my hair care video if you guys have seen it i only wash my hair like once a week so anyways let me tell you why it's been the last couple of days. Yesterday I got back from Columbia. It was a day at the airport, okay? Airports, cause I had a like stop. Um, so I got sick, like a stomach bug yesterday that I didn't even realize until I got home, like at 2 a.m. And I was using the bathroom in those airports, bro and i had a four hour flight in the middle seat y'all middle seat okay <laughs> uh the people next to me were so kind they were these two nice uh gentlemen they were really really nice um so when i need to use the bathroom i'm like i'm sorry y'all like it's okay i mean they didn't know but they were just nice um So today I was actually supposed to go to school because yesterday was my first day of school and today is my second day of school. I was like, oh, I missed the first day of school. It's fine. It's my last semester ever, period, y'all. Okay, I'm not even trying to like, I'm not even going to downplay that. Last first day of school ever, y'all. Anyways, um, I was like, it'll be fine. Today, this morning, I woke up like I had been hit by a truck because I had been using the bathroom during the nighttime. I'm like, what the heck is happening? Um, so this morning I was like, okay, nah. I had two classes. 
one in the evening time, one in the night time. And I was like, okay, Natalie, maybe we can power through. Mm -mm. My body said no. I was really about to go too, but I was like, nah, this is not you, okay? Maybe this is the old you. New you, healed, growth you, listens to your body, okay? And so I listened to my body. But I didn't know this about uh, stomach bugs or stomach flu or whatever. So, like, you get, like, you know, the runs and everything. But also, your head starts to hurt and your body is aching and you um are just tired the whole day. And that's exactly what I felt. And when I was trying to, like, look up, like, how to recover from a stomach bug, like, in a fast amount of time. Every single article said rest. You better rest up, girl sleep oh I, I was like oh, man so i was like i know my professors i was like hey y'all i'm really sorry i can't come in i got a really bad stomach bug and they were like they were really nice they were like i hope you feel better thank you for not coming in um well stomach bugs aren't really contagious are they i don't know anyways they were really nice about it they were like you need to rest up it's okay so i slept all day today y'all all day today but i had never slept well no, that's a lie but i hadn't slept i like took a five hour nap woke up ate a little bit five hour nap again and i looked up online like what kind of foods you should eat when recovering from a stomach bug because i really didn't want to eat at all but i was like nah you can't just not eat bro like you have to eat so there was this like uh article talking about like you should eat uh Light foods like banana, that's high in p potassium, gives you energy, but it's not too heavy on your stomach. Uh, something with probiotic, uh, which is like a yogurt. Low fiber foods, like Cheerios or something. Uh, they said like rice and potatoes are good to eat. White lean meats are good to eat. So that was a, that's what I was eating. And it actually helped, bro. Because I used to like get sick and I would just like be miserable but like now i like look up from credible sources obviously like how to recover um and who would have thought like that that stuff actually works so yeah it's not as bad i'm obviously feeling a lot better right now